There are two topics I want to talk about today. First, I want to talk about Toilet Tower Defense being back on Roblox and for how long. And second, I want to talk about Big Games and Preston releasing Titanic plushies and why it makes me disappointed. Now, the past couple of days, I don't know if you guys have noticed that Toilet Tower Defense has come back to Roblox, but what is super weird to me is that the owner of the game, Telantric, hasn't announced anything of the game coming back. He hasn't even posted a YouTube video, no community post. The only thing they have posted on their Discord is news regarding partners, YouTube partners, that they're still not taking in new partner applications. Which is a bit fishy to me, because if you add your game back to Roblox, wouldn't that be something you would announce and make a video on? The game just magically reappeared on Roblox, without a word from the owner of the game. Now to me, that seems a bit fishy. Here's why. If I were in the full right to re-upload my game or to reinstate my game on Roblox, rest assured, I would post a video instantly. Especially if I'm getting over 500,000 views almost every video, I would definitely promote that, that my game is back online. But Telantric has not done that, not even on Discord. So that makes me think, the Toilet Tower Defense might get deleted again. Or, best case scenario for the fans of the game is that they're still working on the deal and it seems like the deal is falling through. Meaning that Dafuk Boom and Telantric has come to an agreement to share the revenue of the game, but the finalizing of the deal has not finished yet. And worst case scenario could be that Telantric just reinstated the game with Roblox behind Dafuk Boom's back. Only time will tell what will happen with Toilet Tower Defense. What's also interesting is that when you go back to the game, everything is the way it used to be. Like, all the units are the same, meaning the copyrighted stuff there has been done nothing to the copyrighted material that the Fook Boom was claiming. It's all the same like it was in the past. Like, all the units are the same, everything in the game is the same. It's like it never went away. So yeah, that's gonna be a bit interesting to see what's gonna happen in the next couple of weeks. Now to the interesting news regarding Pet Simulator X. <sighs> so Preston has decided that they're gonna release a bunch of Titanic plushies to Pet Simulator X. Not Happy Pet Game, well kind of, but also to Pet Simulator X. They claim that these new Titanic plushies will be able to be redeemed on the new Happy Pet Game, but the problem is they have not stated when. We have no idea when Happy Pet Game will come out. And these guys are releasing a bunch of Titanic plushies to make Bobux. Real Bobux. When their game is not being updated, when Pet Simulator X is not really being updated for ages, and we got no news on when a new game will come out. They have the balls to release new Titanic plushies. Brand new Titanics coming very soon. Okay, and Happy Pet Game? These are redeemable in the new game, wink. Night Fox responding, new game or no money from me. Yeah, because you're not getting the 500k views anymore from Pet Simulator X. It makes sense that you don't want to spend more Bobux on the game. In case you didn't know, the reason why YouTubers love to do pay-to-win stuff in Pet Simulator X is because they were getting tons of views. Not all of us, but some of the bigger YouTubers were getting like half a million views per upload, sometimes up to a million views. And that equates to a lot of Bobux, like a lot of money. So if you get 500,000 views on a long video on YouTube, you know, that's that could be up to $1,500 in YouTube ad revenue. So it makes sense that you can spend up to $1,000 on plushies. But now since the views are down on all of us, not even the big YouTubers like Night Fox wants to spend money on Pet Simulator at the moment. If you ask me personally, I think this is... This is unapproved. To try and release Titanic Plushies. I know they've been working on them for quite some time. Probably with a Chinese company and not with the Indian company. And they even claim that these Plushies will look better than the last Plushies. But it just kind of seemed like it's a big cash grab. Like, if you don't have a, a game that's being updated a lot or on the new game here yet, I just think the timing is completely off. And it just rubs off in the wrong way. It's like, here, I'm, I'm here to collect the rent. You got the rent! I need it! Yesterday! Okay. Well, maybe if you gave us a proper home to be in. A home that would be updated a lot. A home that was updated with internet, high internet speed, 
etc. I just find it very annoying that they just post this stuff, hey a new plus is coming, when all we want to know is, hey when is the new game coming, can you give us an estimate at least? You got investors here, dying to know, can we get an estimate, that's all we wanna know, we don't care about the plushies until you got a game that's popular again. I know there are like 20,000 players, 20, 30,000 players that are still playing Pet Simulator and are happy about the game because, you know, they can still grind in the game and maybe they are new to the game. But us who has been playing the game since the day it came out in 2021, we tired of the game, most of us. And we want content, specifically us YouTubers. We don't want to see you releasing plushies until you got a, a game that's trending again. Later. It is now a few hours later and um, I've been out for a run, I've been taking a shower, we got a new shirt on, new hoodie on, it's a different one. And if you saw in the video, I got 10 event eggs, okay? And now I'm debating in my head if I should trade them away and just get the gems or try and hatch them all. So I did a poll on Twitter. Will gems from PSX carry over to Happy Pet Game? Ye, yeah, nay. It seems like they will not carry over. I have no clue, but I hope no clue, but hope not. Hopefully not, cause the economy would be ruined. Yeah, hope not. First vote anyway, hopefully not because it would ruin the point of a new game. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they will carry over, so I have to hatch the eggs. <laughs> On this video, smash like for good luck, please. We might be able to do 11 eggs. Let me see here. Alright, let's go, scary cat. I only have... I wanna keep at least one of each pet. Ah, not this one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Can I do another one? Yes, I think I can do another one. But I'm hoping I can do two in total. I'm not so happy to do the rainbow ones. Alright, let's go. Can I do one more, please? Nope, we cannot. Or maybe we can. Let me see. 59 po Nah. Alright, 11 eggs, bro. Here goes nothing. Wish me luck, please. <sighs> Three at a time. Come on, bro. It's 1% chance for the huge. Dude. I should sell- But here's the thing. The gems don't carry over, so might as well. You know, this game is pretty dead to me, so. Open three. Or oh, eight. Okay, let's try eight. Wait, that means I have no more after this. We do three. Bro. Please. Dude. Come on, Preston. Just this once. Just this once. I have tried. Yeah. Uh, I've never gotten the huge from the event deck. Come on, bro. No. <laughs> no. Oof. Come on, bro. Dude. 1% chance, bro. Last one. Yee! Yee, 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 yee! Dude! Ah, oh, bro. Alright, that's all I had for today. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Trying to hit 400k subs. <laughs> I keep staying at 395,000 subs around there. I lose some, I win some new subscribers, you know. Can we get some more W's in the sub count, please? Alright, see you guys in the next one. Oof!